Hey, little keeper, Lancer Smush Catsup. Beautiful lake, isn't it? They say the frozen oracle resides in the cave beneath the icy water. She only reveals herself to the brave or the worthy. Cool. Whoa, watch out. Don't step too close to the water. You might fall in. I don't have to tell you it's deadly to take a swim in the icy water, right? Unless you got some mighty warm clothes on you. But they don't look like it. Oh, you've already gotten some warm clothing from the clothes maker. All right. I hope you find some treasure. Bye. Let's see. But yeah, so one of the big issues that I always kind of ran into with, you know, taking any kind of break was that I wasn't really relaxing. And I'm trying to stay off my phone specifically. Because I think just in general, phones and social media are, are just absolutely toxic to humans' ability to get anything done. And so, if I'm going to take time off, I, I'm going to spend like four or five hours playing a video game, watching a movie, reading a book, and I'm going to try and put like my all into that as opposed to just piecemeal ten minute breaks here and there. I see you've come to tread on the doorstep to oblivion, young keeper. I know of the dangers that lurk in the forlorn places of the sanctuary, and yet you seek them out. I've watched you as you traverse the snowy peaks, and even before that spectral keeper smush cats up. I think I remember visiting this place with one of your ancestors, smush cats up, but I don't remember this strange apparition. In another life, I used to be called by a different name, but I am now known only as the Oracle of the Snowy Peaks. What are you exactly? Why do you haunt this place? I'm a lost soul that wandered the oceans of the world for years beyond count. During my natural life, I had seen the world turn to darkness before my own eyes. When the sanctuary was created, it was as if a triumphant beacon lit up in the middle of a black sea. Hope returned to the world. That's why I always watch over the sanctuary, and if need be, I will intervene in the course of fate. The last time I revealed myself to a keeper was almost 300 years ago, when the sanctuary was in great danger. But we failed. The man who turned himself into an undying devil escaped our grasp, and he still seeks to corrupt the, corrupt the sanctuary with lies and sweet promises. He has turned several keepers over to his cause. I do not know how many have joined his ranks. Spectral Keeper Smush, Smush Katza, you've already shown great bravery in the path that led you here, but I need to be sure that you're the one that will save the Sanctuary from this devil. Do you believe that you're ready to face the Oracle's challenge, Spectral Keeper? Yes. Come forth, noble beast. Test this Keeper's spirit through combat. It's... dumb looking. Uh, Choose monsters. Let's do Ferg, Orb, and Bjork. We don't have the passive heal, but this gives me a little bit more upfront oomph. Probably should have lit it on fire, but giving it shock doesn't seem terrible. Air sickle, air sickle. Doesn't have the schmancy crit bonuses. I should probably just do claw. Ow, how dare you. Buffs. Every buff. Okay, so we're actually going to go for his weakness because that gives me benefits. I think I'm capped out on... I could be wrong, but I think I'm capped out on every ability here or every buff that I could pawn on. Which means I should probably do the group hit instead. Uh, let's freeze him. It's not great against him, but it doesn't need to be. healing wave. Should apply buffs to the other guys. So far, so good. Okay, got him with every debuff. Did you do claws? Yeah. There he goes. Is that a five star? That should have been a five star. Hell yeah, we got Aklet Egg and a Fin. Health, crit chance, and crit damage. That's good. We also get a decent fang. You've bested the shaman beast, Aklut. 
You've proven your force of will as well as your bravery. I shall give you the aid that I can, and I trust that you will use my gifts to save the sanctuary. The key lies hidden in the deepest point of the sanctuary. Once you have this key, you will know what to do. But to enter the deepest domain of the sanctuary, you'll need to collect all of the sanctuary tokens that are hidden across the sanctuary. To find the sanctuary tokens, you'll need to travel to the most remote corners of the sanctuary. I can give you one of the sanctuary tokens. I know that there's another in the Sun Palace, which lies west of the Blue Caves. That's all I can tell you. Come back here any time you wish to hear these things again. Go now. The fate of the sanctuary depends on you. Cool. I want this treasure chest. It is a carrot. Why is there a carrot? Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some kind of flight or whatever ability. Because I... There's like zero way I'm going to be able to get up to that Megatar. Okay. Uh, let's go back over here. Alright, so next up, Acklet Egg. So you may think I'm naming this thing ShamWow, but instead I'm naming it ShamWoo. It's double reference. Alright, so guy's got heal mastery. Okay, healer. Definitely an amount of crit. Does do bleed. Has claws. Has bite. Aquatic Predator. Increases the crit chance of aquatic monsters in the party by 5%. Got multi chill. Has life's ability, but that's not amazing. Digital hit when applying chill with an attack. Oh, let's see. He does have auto heal. Duality. Whenever a monster in the party gains might, 50% chance of gain sorcery. It's okay. He's not bad, but he still fits in that weird Venn diagram of, like, almost kind of useful, but I don't think I want to use him. His base stats are solid, though. I don't know. I'll think about it. For now, let's actually go back up here. And let's get... Let's get some of the, uh, fancy boss monsters. I don't remember. Which is this one? Infinity Ar Arena. I think that's the one where you just keep going forever. No, this is the one I want. Okay, I don't want to challenge Acklet. We've already fought a Minotaur, so I don't need to, to do that one again. We've got Red Duga. I think I'll be able to do Reduga. Uh, let's see, choose monsters. So we want to do Ferg, Orb, and Bjork. Do I try and go for the poison first? Or do I go for full offense? Well, we gave it weakness, which I guess actually is pretty solid. Alright, it is now poisoned. Probably should look more into its elemental weaknesses, but I don't think that's going to be an issue here. Right, let's do a healing wave. Get some buffs going. Weak to ice, which I don't think is going to help me. Not with this guy. Owie. Well, you know what that's gonna do. Pretty much nothing. I'm with shock, hit him with air sickle.
Okay. Let's say we've got it somewhat on the ropes here. That's it mo most weak to fire. Which works amazingly well. Bye. Damn. Practice makes perfect. Wrecked. New record score, and we get a Reduga egg. Let's pop that sucker open. Reduga is a weird duck. Very good for a lot of things. Okay, so we got Red Duder. Let's check. So. It does a lot of elemental abilities, which we kind of knew. Very good exploiting weaknesses, which actually makes it a really good accompaniment to Orb. Wasn't this one of Wanderer's favorites? I don't know if I've used this one. The Ghost was one of my favorites. Oh, critical boon. On a critical hit, chance to grant a random buff to another another random monster in the party. Yeah, the big big issue would be healing. Because this, this guy's really good at buffing other party members. I wonder if combo buffing works with uh, Critical Boon. It would have to, right? Because this guy doesn't manually apply any buffs. Oh, or... No, I bet Heat Shimmer counts. Yeah, it does have buffing heal. Alright. Well, I'm not using... I'm not using Derp Raptor for anything anyway. Okay, so Rad Duder needs a couple of things. Let's grab Spark Shower. Heat Shimmer, Team Buff. Let's see. Next up, we wanted to get. We want to get to both. Critical boon, see if I can get to them. Let's see. Good for hero at party. The other thing is mana focus. On this guy, it would be pretty solid. Let's. go down this, though. Okay. So I want to get mana focus. I want to get mana stability. We kind of want mana upkeep, but let's go heroic party. Doubling impact. Okay. So I've got pretty much everything that I could possibly want on this guy. Oh, there's another mana stability. This guy's got good defense. Yeah, I want to get down to critical exploit. But I think for now, I'm going to put it into a crit chance. And we'll go for that. Okay. 
So I want to do equipment. Red Duder. Red Duder is honestly should be magic crit. Hmm. Which one of these guys has magic crit? Is there is there a magic crit? Equipment, unequip all from inactive monsters. I don't think we. I don't think it exists. But honestly, looking at this, we could just go sh shuriken anyway. Okay, so we want to get crit chance, because critical boon spreads boons to everybody. Mana and mana regen, but mainly max mana. I didn't actually get mana proc. I probably should have invested in that. Alternatively, inventory... I do have a skill potion. No, I don't. Well, I thought I had a skill potion, but I guess they're all gone. Let's just feed it some pears. Okay. So the bandana is perfect for it. What else is there? There's the coat. There's the cape. We should probably give it a feather. Just to give it some mana regen. Uh, let's see, did I have a crit ring sitting around? Nope. I had one. I bet we're not using it. So what's the fin do? The fin was... It's okay. Shield self for 30 when receiving a buff. I mean, that one could be really good. We have one crit ring sitting around. I'm gonna have to go upgrade it, though. Let let's go do that real quick. And maybe go drop off some eggs. Hello, sir. I have egg. Donate egg. Up. Oh. Ice blob. Donate ice blob. Man, I got a lot of these. I guess they are the most common mountain creatures. So close. But alas. Alright. Hello, sir. Please upgrade my kunai. I'll think about that. First and foremost, we gotta start with the... Maybe the feather. Definitely the crit ring. Oh, the crit ring sucks. Let's, let's drop that like a hot tamale. Sure, it's like a solid amount, but it's not actually that good. want would be mana and crit chance. If it exists, though. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, but we already have the bandana. So, I don't actually know what I get for this guy. Let's, let's go sun pendant. Sun Pendant seems kind of reasonably useful for what I'm doing. Okay, so next up, Tome. Is okay. Wizard Hat, absolutely worth it. Fang? Worth it. Uh, 
let's see. Feather, Sun Pendant. I'm not using this sucker for anything, and I should probably just take his stuff off. Man, this... Let me upgrade a little bit more than I thought I was going to be able to. Still can't get the kunai, but everything else is solid. Uh, let's see, you don't sell any of the fancy gems. Well, alas, but still, this is a really good combo. We should be able to go get the crit ghost. Or not crit ghost, debuff ghost? I don't know, whatever the heck it is. Hello! I would like to fight. Honestly, the Spectre. Because the Spectre is weak to magic. So if we do Ferg, Orb, and Rad Duder. Unfortunately, Ferg is mostly here for support, which is less than effective, but that's okay. Let's see, it's already got chill and fire. But I guess if it buffs itself. Holy crap. All right. Things happened there. All right. Let's start with the heal. Doesn't give me any debuffs, but that's okay. Hit him with the lightning. I think he is poisoned now. now that I'm yeah, he is poisoned. There we go. Yeah, so what, what this does with the... Uh, the Phoenix is it effectively just buffs everybody else. Okay, so it's definitely shocked. I think we've got it with all of these. So in that case, which does the most amount of damage? Freeze it is. Okay, Heat Shimmer. I don't know if I've barriered self yet. But we apparently have hella teamwork buffs. Let's see. Oh. The damage debuffs are considered physical damage. That's why this is not quite working for me. I mean, we rocked him. No, we got a five star. Okay. Let's see. Let's see about the Spectre. Yep. Okay, what's he got? So, if I remember right, this guy used to be a really good hexer. One of his main benefits is Fatal Upkeep. Poison, burn, and congeal damage increased by a lot. Is this the... Yeah, that's the congeal damage. So, he's got congeal. He's got hex. He's good for applying debuffs. The only problem is he's weak to magic, not physical, which is kind of tough. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I realize this guy isn't as good as I used to give him credit for. He's good at applying debuffs, and he's got some solid bits here. Whenever a spirit monster in the party applies a buff or debuff, it's shielded. I mean, those are good. I think I'd on honestly be better with somebody with a multi-burn. A multi-burn and a heal. Which begs the question of, how's Inch Noodle looking? Because the big reason why I kind of skipped on Inch Noodle... ...is Inch Noodle does not have multi-burn. Yeah... 
I like the idea of Inch Noodle. And, like, you can get some hella proc, of, proc damage going off on this guy. I was hoping for Bone. Oh. You know, we could we could go rename him to uh, to Booner. Here, let me get all the uh the bosses down first though. Not that there's too many. Beach Lloyd. So what's the Beach Lloyd weak to? Earth. Okay. Do I want to try Rad Duder, Orb, and Bjork? Let's give this a shot. Pure aggro. Okay. This is more expensive. because I don't necessarily need a heal here. I guess that, that actually works out, kind of. We've already done that. Let's hit him with a freeze. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to keep hitting him with Gemstone Rain. Let's see. What debuffs have I hit him with? I guess we've hit him with every debuff we possibly can. At least that I can intentionally hit him with. Let's see. Cannot be dodged. Fly sorcery to self. Oh. In retrospect, that was silly. That doesn't actually do that much damage. I think bringing the Cat Circer along was still a good idea, though. Okay, let's just keep hitting it with Gemstone Rain. Arcane Bolt. And Fire Claw. There we go. Five star! Beetleoid and a Skill Potion. remember the beetleoid being amazing but still also thank you spook ghost for the eight month resub thank you I guess it's going to be Big Bad Beetle. Because apparently I can't get Big Bad Beetleoid in here. Well, that's a bit of a travesty. Alright, let's take a look at you. So this guy was weird. I used him for a little bit. He does multi-sorcery, which is decent. The one problem is he is all about wind damage. And nothing more, which pigeonholes him a little bit more than I'd like. Let's see, all monsters recover 7.5% of their max health when they trigger shock damage, which is actually really good. Two buffs when an enemy monster is knocked out, which is okay. Let's take a look at the bottom one. So he's got Transfusion, which I love. Magic Attack. Basic Attack is replaced by Magic Attack 6 times 50. That's really good! I mean, it doesn't quite match up with the basic one, but for like a regular attack, that's solid. I don't think I care to use him, though. I like the ideas. But it's not amazing. Alright. Thought you are going to go with Beetleborg. Yeah, but that doesn't fit either. Uh, which is my, my problem. Okay, so he is weak to wind. 
So, Rad Duder, Orb, and Bjork. Now, these guys are wrecking shop here, so... Hell yeah. Now, he's resistant to fire. I guess I'll start with shock. Let's see. Keep doing sorcery buffs. I guess I'll set it on fire, even if it's not really what I'm going for. Because, yeah, we've got way too good of a heal. Oh. Nah, I'm going to keep doing that. Did I hit him with a freeze yet? Don't think I have, but I just got him with a hell of a lot of debuffs there. Air sickle, regular claw. Nah, air sickle. I think we got this in the bag. This is a really solid team. Super good self heals, very good damage. Very aggressive. And we got it. Steam Golem Egg. What do you got for me? How beefy are you? 